I hope you're all looking forward to the quiz this evening. Got some different rounds again for you. See, I'm already on YouTube now. Oh, I can see everybody on YouTube already. <clears throat> so, yeah, I've got six very different rounds for you tonight. A couple of picture rounds thrown in as usual. And we've also got an, an audio round tonight as well. So, I've got a few people on YouTube already. Just um, if you could bear with me, everyone. It normally takes a few minutes for my computer to uh, load up. But we will be, should be ready to kick off at 8.30. Giving ourselves enough time. Hope everyone's keeping safe and well. Still admitting people as well at this point. So who have we got with us tonight? Andy Hayward, Hortons, Rainbow Jazz Misters. <laughs> got the Bonds with us as well, evening. Howley's, Jeremy, Jessica, Cockle Doodle too. Sylvester's. <laughs> so hopefully uh, oh, sh It shouldn't be too long, actually, because it looks like. Just bear with me, everyone. Thank you. Otherwise, start to hear. Start to hear myself twice, which is not very helpful. Oh, is it? Done that again. Ah. I'm still aiming for an 8.30 start. Anyway, you're all early. You're all early, which is good. Keen. I don't know what's gone on with my computer. Am I still broadcasting okay? <laughs> Everyone's putting their thumbs up at me. It's actually stopped on my screen, you see, so it's a bit odd. Oh, well, if I'm broadcasting okay and there's no issues there, then that's not a problem. If I can't see it on YouTube myself. Fair enough, if I'm reviewing on YouTube, that's absolutely fine. Fair enough. Oh, Paddy, 
I suppose I should let Paddy in, shouldn't I? Okay, I'll start at exactly half half past eight. Okay. <clears throat> okay then, good evening everybody and welcome to the Quiz Wizards Lockdown Quiz. Uh, we are on quiz number 13 now, I believe. Yeah, quiz number 13. Um, this one's coming all the way from Lockdown Leicester. Yeah, so not been a good week for my, for my current home city. But you'll be pleased to know the wizard is just on the edge and is outside of the lockdown boundary. So that's not too bad. Um, so let's see what we've got going on with our quiz tonight. So if you're taking part on YouTube, there's various numbers of you at the moment. Um, you can get some more information about the Quiz Wizard channel um, by looking in the banner. So basically what you can do is you can subscribe by clicking on that link um, and that will give you the option to hit the notification bell as well so you'll find out when new quizzes come live that would be grand if you were able to do that for me um, as well as that um, you can also click onto our facebook group um, the quiz wizard um, bits of banter and chat going uh, on through there throughout the week especially this week it was um Things that you knew from your school, from your childhood, that people from uh, today would not understand. That was quite a deep topic. So you can join that group there. Um, lots of posts through the week. And you can also tweet me at the underscore quiz underscore wizard, obviously on Twitter. And I know some of you will be doing that um, throughout the quiz this evening. Loads of quizzes and things available on my on my channel you've obviously got the thursday night lockdown quiz mr pettit yep the apostrophe needs to go i will work on that you've also got the mini quizzes which seem to be going really really well at the moment we're over 30 quizzes on there so this week we brought out a history picture quiz and there's also been um, a sports emoji quiz which has gone down nicely but lots of different topics on there the kids uh, weekly quiz um, that's been going nicely as well and quiz number five comes out tomorrow and then if any of you are still doing any home learning there's the quick fire quizzes for key stage two children on there over 30 of those two so where in the world the, the map is growing each week uh, i thought i had thailand tonight but it turns out that actually um it's someone that's just teaching in thailand and they're actually doing it from their living room in stoke so i got a little bit excited and then it's actually stoke so nothing against stoke itself but it's not thailand is it okay so let's get started with our quiz so how um if you haven't done the quiz here before how does the lockdown quiz work so it is six rounds and there are eight questions in each round all on different topics um which i'll reveal as we go along this week there are two picture rounds as well and also an audio round, which um, I hope you will enjoy. Um, yeah, no real, no real prizes, just for fun. Don't Google or whatever. And um, yeah, just enjoy the quiz. So let's have a go. Our first round, which has become traditional, is the general knowledge round. Okay, so let's see what our first question is tonight. Good luck, everyone. Oh, it's obviously about this guy here. Question one. Prince William graduated from which Scottish university in 2005? So Prince William graduated from which Scottish university in 2005? Question number two. Queens is the largest borough in which American city? Queens is the largest borough in which American city? Uh, 
Here's your third one. Or bits of maths. What does one half times one half equal? What does one half times one half equal? Someone's out there saying, how, how do you want me to represent that? Just uh, a fraction is fine. If you need to put it into a decimal, that's fine. I can work in percentages too. <laughs> Here comes question four. Which supermodel was dubbed the body? Which supermodel was dubbed the body? Who was that? Here comes your fifth question tonight. I think this is a tricky one. Which album by the Beatles was released in 2005? Which album by the Beatles was released in 2005? So looking for the name of the album. Here comes number six. Pippa and Patrick lived next door to which elderly sitcom couple? Pippa and Patrick lived next door to which elderly sitcom couple? Hmm. So do you know the sitcom and then do you know who the elderly couple are? Here comes question seven. Bit of geography here. What name is the Flavian Amphitheatre better known? By what name is the Flavian Amphitheatre better known? Hmm. I bet more of you have been to it than you think. And the last question of the round, number eight. Which actor played Captain Jean-Luc Picard? Which actor played Captain Jean-Luc Picard? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I will quickly go through each of those again, in case you just turned up a little bit late or you want me to repeat one so number one prince william graduated from which scottish university in 2005 number two queens is the largest borough in which american city number three what does a half times a half equal number four which supermodel was dubbed the body Number five, which album by the Beatles was released in 2005? Number six, Pippa and Patrick live next door to which elderly sitcom couple? Number seven, by what name is the Flavian Amphitheatre better known? And number eight, which actor played Captain Jean-Luc Picard? Okay. Right. Got over 50 people taking part on YouTube, which is grand as well. I'll come and speak to some of you guys in a moment when we get to the picture round. Before that, we do have round two, just one letter. So in this round, every single answer is just one letter long. Can you work out what the letter is? It will soon become apparent after the first couple of questions. Okay, so here we go. Here's your first question. What letter represents 50 to the ancient Romans? What letter represents 50 to the ancient Romans? Question number two. What is the blood type of people frequently called universal donors? 
So what is the blood type of people frequently called universal donors? Question number three. Ah, Bond. What is the job title of, Ma of Major Boothroyd, maker of James Bond's gadgets? What is the job title of Major Boothroyd, maker of James Bond's gadgets? Remember, every answer in this round is just one letter long. Question four. What is the international license plate designation for Germany? What is the international license plate designation for Germany? Question five. Name the mysterious protagonist of 1980s Alan Moore comic books. Tough one, that. I guess you've got a one in 26 chance, haven't you? <laughs> Name the mysterious protagonist of 1980s Alan Moore comic books. Number six. Can you guess the can you guess the question just from the picture? What is Will Smith's character called in Men in Black? What is Will Smith's character called in Men in Black? Great films. Great films. Galaxy Defenders. Okay, here comes question number seven, penultimate question. <laughs> this letter marks the spot on treasure maps. This letter marks the spot on treasure maps. And question number eight, last question of the round. What is the chemical element with atomic number one? What is the chemical element with the atomic number one? You know what it is, so I need the chemical symbol for it. Because the round is just one letter. OK, let me go through those once more. Number one, what letter represents 50 to the ancient Romans? The next question was, what is the blood type of people frequently called universal donors? Number three, what is the job title of Major Boothroyd, maker of James Bond's gadgets? Four, what is the international um, license plate designation for Germany? I should have said via. Fünf. Name the mysterious protagonist of 1980s Alan Moore comic books. Number six, what is Will Smith's character called in Men in Black? Number seven, this letter marks the spot on treasure maps. And number eight, what is the chemical element with atomic number one? Okay. So round three is a picture round. Celebrity drag queens. I'm not going to lie, not all pictures are as elaborate as a RuPaul here, okay? But there's going to be eight pictures of males dragged up. All you got to do is tell me the name of the celebrity. Okay, I'll give you a few minutes to have a look at these whilst I see who is taking part with us tonight via YouTube and via Twitter. Here are your pictures. So let's see on YouTube this evening. Yeah, if you are taking part on YouTube, feel free to leave some comments. Try not to type the answers in the box. That's never a good move. But who have we got? Okay, channel, ah, channel NEM, channel NEM. You have to tell me, you have to tell me somehow how you pronounce that. 
yeah, another good quiz channel there. Been trying out some of their quizzes. Evening, and they're from South Shields. So I um, hope you're joining tonight. Howard L. Peach back with us as well. S. Barrett and uh, Chris Pettit, along with Liz, Laura and Sean. Uh, we've got our friends from Qatar. Hi, David, taking part as well again this evening. And uh, hope you're enjoying the quiz. Any of you are interested who Mr. Bakewell is, he's, he's my father-in-law and my tech guy, <laughs> also responsible for putting the audio rounds together for me. So, uh, evening, Paul. Just Nem, that's all good, that's all good. And we've also got people taking part on Twitter tonight. Had a couple, a couple of tweets which is always nice. The Wellingtons. Oh, Moretti, you're on Moretti. I'm on Brewdog this evening. And oh yeah, I must apologize. Uh, Laura Davis taking part. I, I gave her a bit of a shock last week with the clowns round. I, I, I do apologize. No clowns this week, just um, drag queens. So back to these pictures here. Shocking. Quite scary, some of these actually. So, highlight of my week is that my hairdressers is not shut, which means that I can go to my eight o'clock appointment on Saturday, the 4th of July, get this get the locks chopped off. Yeah, it's been a tricky week here in Leicester for us. Um, so I hope all of you who are taking part from Leicester are keeping nice and safe this evening and going forward. Okay, I'm just gonna give you another 30 seconds or so on these. Following that, we will um, cut from the the quiz and go to the people taking part in Zoom tonight. Okay, I'm going to stop that now. Can we get ready to give us a little bit of a little bit of a wave to everybody? Okay, and here we go. In everybody. Oh, JJ, you look like you need a lockdown trim as well. Come on, Michelle. Come on, sort him out. Give him the clippers. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you found round three hard, did you, uh, Paul? Tough round. Okay, evening, everyone. Right, so let's go through some answers. I will try and pick on uh, some of you. I know some of you are... Um, don't worry, Annabelle. I'm not going to come unless you wait. <laughs> wait. So, number one, uh, Prince Andrew got graduated from St Andrews University. Uh, number two, Queens is the largest borough in New York. Question three: What does one half times one half equal? Anyone feel mathematical? Oh God. Seb, Seb's got his hand up, uh, Annabelle. Go one on, Seb. Quarter. Say it again. One quarter. Good boy, yeah, well done. It's one quarter. Good maths, good maths. Good stuff. Julie looks very happy there. Uh, question four, the supermodel that was dubbed the body was Elle McPherson. I thought this was a tricky one as well. Number five, which album by the Beatles was released in 2005? Any ideas? Any ideas? It was called Love. Just called Love. Okay. That's called Love. Pippa and Patrick live next door to which elderly sitcom couple? Pippa and Patrick. Um, I'm trying to unmute you, father and mother. 
my computer's going very slowly today, so um, there we go. You should be unmuted. No, you're not at all. It's I don't believe it. It's not working. It's the Meldrews. It's the Meldrews. You're probably going to mute yourself in a, in a minute or so. It is the Meldrews. Um, by what name is the Flavian Amphitheatre better known? It's in Rome. Jonah? It's the Colosseum. It is the Colosseum. Yeah, well done. I once went to Rome. It only took me 23 hours to get there on two planes, but that's a story for a very another day. <laughs> and question number eight. Uh, which actor played Captain Jean-Luc Picard? That was Patrick Stewart. So well done if you put that. So round two was just one letter. So the letter uh, for 50 to the ancient Romans was, you can probably do it with you, L, L. Uh, the blood type people frequently, um, of people frequently called universal donors. I nearly said donors, that's something very different. Universal donors is, 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 go on the bonds, come on. It's not a, go on. Come on, you know it. Come on. O. It is O. Well done. O, absolutely. Um, the job title of Major Boothroyd, maker of James Bond's gadgets, Q. The international license plate designation for Germany is D, D for Deutschland. Did anyone get the mysterious protagonist of 1980s Alan Moore comic books? <laughs> it's good, you can do it like this. Go on the howlies. V. It was V, yes. Everyone was giving me their best like Madonna impressions like that, I think. Um, Will Smith's character in Men in Black was J. Uh, what marks a spot on treasure maps? X. And the chemical element with the atomic number one was hydrogen, so the answer is H. H. Right, let me get back onto the pictures. So, I'll do it again. Parallel Peach thinks this round will be her downfall. You think that? You've not seen rounds four, five, and six yet, Parallel Peach. <laughs> No, they're not, they're not that bad. Um, let's have a look. So, number one is ex-basketball player and Big Brother celebrity, uh, Dennis Rodman. Number two, I think I've got the answer in now, I'm wrong. It's not David Ball, it's Michael Ball. Michael Ball. Number three is um, Martin Clunes. Number four, David Guest. Number six, Richard Branson. Sorry, number five, Richard Branson. Number six, Mick Jagger. Number seven's brilliant, that's um, John Travolta. And number eight, Martin Lawrence. Well done if you put Martin Lawrence. I believe that's from Big Mama's house. Correct me if I'm wrong, that's not the problem. So that's the end of the first half of the quiz. So what we'll do is we'll have a two minute interval in case you need to go and get uh, a drink or any other refreshments. Can't believe this time last week, we were in sweltering heat doing this quiz and uh, this, this week it now feels like autumn time. So Jonah told me he's on 22 at the moment. Yeah, on YouTube, if you wanna let me know how many you're on, same on uh, Twitter. Um, You've probably got a couple of minutes if you haven't yet to subscribe to the channel um, and to click that notification bell. And if you're enjoying the quiz, give me a thumbs up. If you're not enjoying the quiz, give me a thumbs down. But um, thumbs up are better, obviously. I shall uh, stay here for the duration of the of the break. Right. So, mum and dad, eighteen. My sister, Laura, on 20, good score. Paul's on 14, found that round three tricky. So
So as I said, the, the, the kids quiz comes live again tomorrow from 10 o'clock and it will be the fifth one in the series. So lots of schools are using them. They seem to be proving quite popular. And also the mini quizzes. Yeah, I'm kind of putting up three a week at the moment. Happy to take recommendations if there's a specific quiz category you would like. <laughs> Mick Jagger. <laughs> Mick Jagger looked like Colonel Gaddafi on the drag queen bits. <laughs> Can I go back? I can't go back at the moment. <laughs> Parallel Peach on 15, Chris and his gang on 22. 18 on YouTube from the Wellingtons, Miranda. You did well on you did well on the uh, on the old drag queens there. Then it's good stuff. Channel Nem. So yeah, quizzes that have gone out this week are um, yeah. There's a picture historical figures picture round that's been proving popular. There was uh, football team emojis, friends quiz. Gosh, can't think. There's loads. TV. Name the band. Name the band from the band members. Well done, Karen, 16 there. Okay, just gonna give people another minute or so and then I will crack on. In fact, just during the break, I'm just gonna, because we've got a music round next. So I just wanna make sure that I've got it shared properly. There we go. Okay, I'm going to crack on. So our next round is an audio round, but it's it's um, TV intros. So what you're going to do, what you're going to hear is eight short um, audio clips, and I want you to tell me the name of the TV show. Okay, simple as that. So hopefully I've got my tech team ready to tell me that everyone can hear these properly. So I will go through them twice. So here is question number one. <laughs> Number one, here comes number two. Name the show. Here's number three. And you little angel hung the cat up by its tail And your third fiancé didn't show Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name Number four, on its way Till the one day when the lady met this fellow And they knew that it was much more than a hunch that this group must somehow form a family. That's the way. Number five. Number six. <laughs> that piece of music. Number seven. And 
right, here is your last one, number eight. Okay, so some of those um, might have got a little bit distorted at times, so I will go through them once more. Um, okay, just one more time for you all. Let's see on the last one. There we go. Here's number one, just once more. <laughs> And here's your last one again, number eight. Okay, actually a lot there. So they were your TV intros. That's the end of round four. Okay, let's move on to our penultimate round. Oh, I tell you what, I've not told you the, not told you the prize yet, have, have I? I forgot to get a prize. <laughs> so um, I thought that what I would do is um, the club posted me this, so this can be a prize for today representing Leicester there we go a, a Leicester City flag for you so uh, there we go I thought that was quite good they sent us a flag and they sent us a clapper as well so uh, although sadly they're playing dreadfully so nothing to cheer about at the moment right that's the prize though on top of the uh, the drink from last week so um here we go. Round five is what's missing. So you're going to see a list of things, and I want you to tell me what is what's missing from that list. Basically, um, quite straightforward. What is missing? Here is your first question. Here's your list. Number one: Phoebe Ross, Rachel, Joey Chandler. Who is missing from that list? Phoebe Ross, Rachel, Joey, and Chandler. Number two, red, green, blue, indigo, yellow, violet. What's missing from that list? Red, green, blue, indigo, yellow, violet. Question three. What's missing from this? Return of the King, Fellowship of the Ring. 
Return of the King, Fellowship of the Ring. Number four, Sammy Davis Jr., Jerry Bishop, Frank Sinatra, Peter Lawford. Sammy Davis Jr., Jerry Bishop, Frank Sinatra, Peter Lawford. Question number five. Scarecrow, Toto, Tin Man. What's missing? Scarecrow, Toto, Tin Man. Number six. Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, Southern. Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, Southern. What is missing there? Number seven. Ontario, Superior, Michigan, Erie. Ontario, Superior, Michigan, Erie. And number eight, Argon, Helium, Krypton, Neon, Xenon. Argon, Helium, Krypton, Neon, Xenon. Okay, I'll go through those again, just really swiftly. Phoebe, Ross, Rachel, Joey, Chandler. Red, green, blue, indigo, yellow, violet. Return of the King, Fellowship of the Ring. Sammy Davis Jr., Joey Bishop, Frank Sinatra, Peter Lawford. Scarecrow, Toto, Tin Man. Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, Southern. Ontario, Superior, Michigan, Erie. And a tricky one here. Argon, Helium, Krypton, Neon, Xenon. Not if you're a scientist though, I suppose. Got a couple playing. Okay, so we're on our last round already. Can't believe that. Um, so it is another picture round and it is called Oh Balls. <laughs> it is a sport picture round. Um, you are going to get the pictures of, <laughs> you're going to get the pictures of eight, eight balls or sets of balls or pairs of balls. <laughs> I want you to tell me the sport that those balls are used in. So, for example, on this picture here, that would obviously be football or for counterparts in different parts of the world, soccer. OK, I think you get the idea. So here are your pictures of your eight individual pairs or sets of balls. Name the sport. Here we go. <sighs> This round was inspired by the fact that Wimbledon was supposed to start this week. Uh, obviously, new balls, please. Over 21,000 balls are used at Wimbledon. Incredible, that.
it's all gone a bit quiet on uh, on YouTube. You all still with me? Give us a hello. <laughs> if you're still there. <laughs> Yeah, a couple of messages. That put up, there's a few tricky questions here this evening, but we're all in the same boat. So, what balls are these? Thank you. I have to keep calling you S. Barrett. Hello. <laughs> and Parallel Peach. I can always rely on Parallel Peach. There you go. She's, she's hanging in there. <laughs> Okay, so some of these are from more traditional sports than others, I'm not going to lie. Ah, okay, Sean, okay, thank you. Good to have, good to have you, uh, have you with us. Just give you a few, well, another minute or so on these. Oh, a couple of trickier ones. Okay. Right, I'm going to stop the share now. Okay, so back onto onto Zoom. Ju you're right, Julie. <laughs> you're okay. Right, let's get some let's get some answers to rounds um four, five, and Six. I hope you enjoyed the audio round. A couple of great bits of music in there, I think. So number one was The Muppet Show. Uh, number two was, brilliant show, finished this year. Any ideas? Number two was... The Howleys. It wasn't the Howleys. What was it? Hey, oh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, it was Game of Thrones. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that was, but it was Game of Thrones. Number three. Number three. I know. I know someone who would have got this one. Can't see him on here though. Can't see him on here. The lads. The lads would have got that one definitely. Anyone here know what number three was? Oh, the Lanyanis. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, it was cheers. Good show. Good show. Um, number four was a tricky one. That was the Brady Bunch. So well done if you put the Brady Bunch. Number five was the Big Band. The Big Band? <laughs> the Big Bang Theory. Big Bang. Did anyone get number six? I think it's a great piece of music. It's a great show as well. Bit, really moving piece of music there. Any no one on this screen? Anyone know number six? Oh, I, I can't get your whole name, but all I can get is Lord Lord Capel of Bow. <laughs> it's not unmuting you either for some reason. It's not unmuting you. There we go. You're unmuted. Go. 
What was the question? <laughs> we don't actually know. Our cats were walking all over the keyboard. It was number six. Oh, I'll, I'll, mute, I'll mute you back up. I'll tell you what, I'll mute you back up. <laughs> when live TV goes wrong. <laughs> it was Band of Brothers. Band of Brothers. Um, really, really good show. Well worth watching. Uh, number seven. Good whistle along to Some Mothers Do Have Them. Ooh, Betty. Ooh. And number eight was tough as well. That was... Um, anyone know number eight? Anyone get number eight? I tried to mute you earlier, Dad, but it's not working. Must be that new phone you've got. Go on. Um, <laughs> we oh, you're muted it. now. Go on, what is it? Was it Wonder oh, Woman? It's Wonder it Woman. was Wonder Woman, yes. <laughs> yes. Well done, Dad. And well done, Michael. For Well done, Michael, as well. That, yeah, it was Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. So what's missing? So number one, uh, Monica was missing characters from Friends. Number two, orange was missing, colours of the rainbow. Number three, Return of the King, Fellowship of the Ring, it's from Lord of the Rings books. What was the third one that's... I, did... my, my, I think my sister's trying to tell me that I missed out number two, but it actually looks like she's swearing at me. I did say it. Um, Red, green, blue, yellow, violet. The answer is orange, colours of the rainbow. Oh, oh, I get it now. The two towers. Oh, my God. Yeah, the two towers. Oh, my God. It's like playing charades. It's awful. Yeah, they were Lord of the Rings books. Um, number four, Sammy Davis Jr., Joey Bishop, Frank Sinatra, <laughs> Peter Lawford. Anyone? Um, anyone? Go on then, you're on a roll. Oh, Hello. The go on, you're on a roll. Dean Martin. Dean Martin, the Rat Pack. Harry and Ellie are looking worried. <laughs> um, Scarecrow, Toto, Tin Man, Lion. It was from The Wizard of Oz. Lion was the answer. Number six were Oceans. Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, Southern and... Uh, Rainbow Jazz Misters. Arctic. <laughs> Arctic. Oh. <laughs> Arctic. Yeah. Alan Partridge's favourite. Uh, favourite ocean. Arctic. Ontario, Superior, Michigan, and Erie. They were the Great Lakes. I believe it's um, Huron. Is how you say it. H-U-R-O-N, my pronunciation's never great. And number eight, argon, helium, krypton, neon, and xenon. They were noble gases, but which one is missing? Which noble gas is missing? I'm not coming to you, Lord Capel of Bo, because I think it's your cat that's doing that again. Uh, the Southerners, my, I'm trying to unmute you. Go on. Radon? It is radon. Top knowledge, radon. Yeah, well done. Good stuff. I, I was dreadful at stuff like that at school, so didn't have a clue. Well done. Okay, and then I will get the pictures back up for the <laughs> O oh balls round. So, number one is volleyball, number two is hockey, field hockey, obviously, not ice hockey. Number three is squash. Number four is a ball game that is now very popular in schools. Um, boccia. Boccia. B-O-C-C-I-A. Number five is Aussie rules, mate. Australian rules football. Fair dinkum. Um, number six is actually um, hurling. Number six is hurling. So well done if you put that. Number seven is croquet. Croquet. And number eight is obviously tennis. So what I need you to do for me, please, is let me know your scores. Um, I do have a tie break question just in case I require that. Um, 
Oh, there you go. I don't mind plugging other channels, channel name. If you enjoyed the theme tune round, he's uploaded a theme tune quiz earlier this week. So feel free to go and have a look at that as well. He's got some good quizzes on his channel as well. So, um, yeah, if you want to let me know what you got in the box on uh, YouTube, Paul got 26. Tweet them in to me as well if you need to. Moment, I can't seem to get the chat up, so I'm going to have to have a look in a second. Right. Make sure we're being sensible. We'll have to stop the stop. There we go. Let's have a look. I can't seem to get the chat box up. There we go. I'll go to the top here. Awesome. Oh, that's got to be. Surely that's the half time scores. <laughs> surely that's the half time scores. Premier Crew 39. The lads 35. Andy Hayward 40. Winning at the moment with the Howleys. 41. Bob Liss. 41, well, oil beef hooked. 41 from the Friends. Oh, gosh, we've got lots of 41s there. 30 on YouTube. <laughs> you didn't lie, it did get worse. <laughs> 42 for our, on YouTube. Uh, the Kentites. 42, that's a good score. 39 on YouTube for the Wellingtons. That was really hard not sharing our score. <laughs> you know, some, sometimes they can be a bit trickier. I'm going to make an executive decision. <laughs> the Southerners, 33 balls. <laughs> You're 33 on the balls round. <laughs> Parallel Peach, 27, respectable. Channel M, 33. Good stuff. Dies, guys. 29. Back to their usual form. Oh. oh, Harry and Ellie, 33. No, 28 to 33 to the Gooners. First thing Arsenal have won for a while. OK, so there's no more scores coming in. I've got I'm going to make an executive decision here. We've got four. We've got four teams on forty-one. It's going to be too difficult for a tiebreak question. I'm going to. I'm going to get this posted out. I'm going to get this posted out to uh, Chris Pettit and his team. Forty-two on YouTube. They've won the quiz tonight. And I'll tell you what. I'll even do. I'll sign it for you from the quiz wizard. Okay. It'll become a quiz wizard artifact. I'm not. I'm not afraid to do that. All right. Let me. Know. Um, Chris and his team. Right, so con it might be controversial. It might be controversial, but that's what I'm doing. So, as I've said, I don't need to go on to it too much. Check out some of the other quizzes uh, from the Quiz Wizard channel. Um, if you have enjoyed this quiz, yes, Chris, you're on 42. You've won the quiz. I've just told you. Um, Check out some of the other quizzes. There's loads available. Um, if you have enjoyed the quiz tonight, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe to the channel as well. And if you click that bell, it will give you a notification when new quizzes become available. As it stands, I'm going to continue doing the Thursday night lockdown quiz um, as we are. No other plans at the moment. If you keep turning up, I'll keep churning out the quizzes. So um, <laughs> hope you have enjoyed tonight. And um, hopefully you will take part in some more of my future quizzes, whether they be the lockdown quiz or the mini quiz. Um, I'm going to stop the stream now. So thank you for taking part. Those of you on YouTube, those of you via Twitter and those of you here with Zoom on me. Take care, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Night, everyone.